Today, 22nd of July, in the School of Biological Earth and Environmental Science is critically important for a number of reasons. I suppose not least because the Minister for Agriculture, Fishery, Forestry and the Marine has come to visit us. And that's been great excitement because people want to actually get the opportunity to meet the Minister. I guess to convey a message, but probably more importantly for us as a university and as a school, is to convey what we do, and in particular in those areas that are of interest to him. Primarily the interest to him will be in the area of food. And I suppose, uh, as we hear a cow in the background, um, the cattle would be, and food and beef would be probably seen as an important sector for the Irish food industry. But perhaps when we look a bit more closely, we'll see that we, since we are an island, that the marine resource too needs to be exploited. In fact, if you look at the landscape of Ireland and you look at what's called the real map of Ireland, you see that the area that we have available for aquaculture, fisheries, is a phenomenal resource. And that's also for the algae and for food that can be derived from that. So what we're seeking to do today is to visit each part of the school in relation to those important thematic areas, starting with aquaculture fisheries. And in some sense, aquaculture is the growing of fish, whether those are mussels or oysters or indeed sea urchins. And there's a really interesting project on sea urchins that Jerry Musakisis has been looking at in developing gourmet food. Um, also looking at aquaculture of fish species, whether they're salmonids or, or trout or whatever the case may be. And what's interesting is sometimes we see aquaculture on its own as an industry, and that's important as a resource, but also it's an important tool to help us restock other fisheries. And the minister today, and as we walk around, will see where we can actually look at scallops, which have been lost from an area of South Kerry, in particular Valencia Harbour. And we have managed to grow these scallops in the laboratory, our young ones, put them out in the environment and into a little nursery, if you like, and then deploy them back in to the, the habitat. So in some sense, aquaculture, while it's an industry in itself, can also be an important enabling device for restoring the fisheries. And then you're out into the fisheries of the wild stock, if you like, and the issue there really is what species to harvest, is there enough of them, and how can we protect them? And also the interactions that occur with other uh, species, for example, whether they're cetacea, whether they're mammals. So today we'll walk and see work by Emer Rogan, looking at managing fisheries, looking at some of the whales and dolphins that the interactions can occur. And the message we're trying to convey is, yes, we need food. Yes, we need in, in the in good quality environment. But yes, we also need to protect that environment. So what we call the trilemma, the trilemma of demanding food, demanding energy, and maintaining environmental quality. And our message to the world outside and to our researchers is that we can do this, at least contribute to that. We'll go on then and we'll actually look at another element of the interest of the school and one of our areas of research. We've recently undertaken a, an analysis of the importance of our research. It's no good me saying we're, we think we're good, I think that's important. What's really important is others say we're good. And we've done an analysis to see where the greatest impact of our research is in terms of publications. And we found two major areas are, are outstanding, if I could use that phrase. One is the area of agronomy, that's agriculture in its broadest sense of the word, and the other area is in forestry. And we have an opportunity today to see some of that work, to see the work of my own group, which is looking at forest ecology, and with Simon Harrison, and looking at how forests interact with water, fisheries, habitat quality, protected species. And that's incredibly important for managing the environment. And then we move into the food area. And on the agriculture side, and my colleagues in, in the botanical or plant science side, we're looking at pineapples and bananas, which is really fantastic. And then ultimately looking at the, if you like, the humble potato. How can you actually use that group of, of organ, organisms to actually help supply food, not only in Ireland, but other parts of the world? And the key message that we're trying to convey is that we are incredibly research active. There are certain thematic areas or niche areas we're particularly good at, and we do this on a global scale. Uh, so some of the work that we've been undertaking in South America, for example, on potatoes, would be a good exemplar of how you can do that. In the same way, who would have thought in UCC we're going to be working on bananas and pineapples? And there's things we have been working on. So that impact, I've talked earlier about the impact of the research and publications, that impact, if you like, is the commercialization or commercial impact of the translation of the research. So each of those strands is important. Each of them are important for government each important for the university, but also for our students, our students that are graduate students who are being educated and being trained in, in disciplines and the specific methodologies that are used for those, but also for our undergraduates who are being led in their undergraduate teaching by research-led faculty who are very busy and very, very good.